Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So it's crew recruitment time again. This season's pretty much coming to an end and hey, y'all might need some new members, okay? You guys might need some new members. Um, If you're a crew, leave a comment on this video. Type in the name of your crew, your requirements. Let us know if you're if you get the milestone prize car every season or not. Let us know about how many respect points your crew makes at the end of the season. All that good stuff. And make sure you leave some kind of contact info. That way, somebody can get a hold of you. All right? If somebody's trying to join your crew, they can contact you and be like, Hey, I'm so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to give you guys some crew tips for running a successful crew. You know, if you're a smaller crew and you're just getting started, these tips should really help you out. All right? First, though, if you're a member, please don't join a crew. If you're if you're just a single person looking to join a crew, please do not join a crew unless you agree to all of the requirements and you can do these every single season. If not, you're going to go in there and you're going to mess that crew up and possibly make so they don't win their prizes. All right. You don't want to do that. You will be kicked out before you even know what happened. So to run a successful crew, this isn't absolutely necessary, but this is about 90% necessary. You got to have, all right, you got to have an outside source of chat like the line app or Discord or Facebook uh, Messenger, something. All right. Interview people before you let them in and let them know exactly what is expected of them. For example, my crew, I have one of my admins talk to people on the line app on the rare occasion that we actually need another person. And they ask a few simple questions. Hey, uh, how much RP do you make every season? You know, do you have like school or anything else that gets in your way? Are you over 18? And a few other simple questions like, can you make, can you, do you agree to the requirements? For example, you have to make over 700,000 respect points every season. You gotta, you're not allowed to activate the wild card no matter what, unless you're an admin in the crew and a few other things like that. And they say, yes, I can make the points. I understand. And I agree. Then we say, okay, welcome aboard. And we let them into the crew. All right. If you don't interview people, they're going to come in there. They're going to activate your wild cards. They're going to, you know, who, who knows what they're going to do. But back when my crew first started, we were a small crew. Eventually, we grew into, grew into a 40 million uh, respect point wild card crew. Not wild card, a uh, milestone crew. And it, it took a really long time to get there, guys. It took a really long time to get there. I mean, I started this little teeny crew. The day I started the game, I joined this crew. And I'm still there. I'm still in that crew. We did merge with another crew at one point, and then... We, we had like 15 really good players for about a year. And then we merged with another crew that had like 15 really good players. And bam, all of a sudden, things have been going well ever since. That was a kind of a cool thing. Kind of not a cool thing at the same time. Some of us got along. Some of us didn't get along after we merged. But it, uh, it worked out in the long run. All right. Sometimes merging is good. Sometimes it's bad. But in like in other games, though... My, my crew or my clan or my group or whatever has merged with another one and most of the time it just doesn't go well okay most of the time the mergers don't go that well but every once in a while they go okay I know a bunch of other people who have merged as well and it was never really a good thing for the most part always a lot of uh, problems and drama and stuff going on when you merge with another crew unfortunately Half the crew members are mad. Oh, we just joined another crew, but we liked our old crew. I don't know. It's just a just a big old headache for the most part. But that's always that's always some sort of option you guys can try. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Like it kind of worked out for us, kind of didn't. But overall, it ended, it ended up being a pretty good thing for our crew. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you guys are looking for crews. Alright, please leave your information in the comments, all that kind of good stuff. But you got to have an outside source of chat. The in-game chat is terrible. You can type a few things and that's it. 
it's just not a good system and then it floods it out with so and so got this car so and so did this blah 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 whoever did this whoever did that it's just like if somebody does type some chat in there it gets flood flooded out with all the game crap anyway so the in-game chat system is not very good for keeping up with your crew so yeah we use the line app it's really awesome it's free um you might want to take a good look at that honestly the line app is pretty sweet Discord's really good too. In some ways, Discord is better, but I have one major issue with Discord along with pretty much everyone else I know that uses it. Okay, freaking, uh, when you're on the voice chat on the PC, everything works great. But if you're doing voice chat on your phone, people constantly, you'll be in there chatting with people, and next thing you know, you can't hear anybody and they can't hear you. Then you have to leave the chat room and then come back. It constantly, we call it losing comms, constantly happens on the mobile apps with every single person I know that uses the Discord. Alright, I don't really use Discord for CSR2 racing, but uh, on my other games, okay, on a couple of my other games, the crews or clans of the men do use the Discord. And the voice chat's a nightmare on the, on the, uh, where was I going with this anyways? But anyways... Discord's amazing. The regular the regular text chat and stuff, it's awesome. The voice chat's a little a little crappy. If you use Discord on the PC though, no problems. No problems at all. I've never once lost comms on the PC version of Discord. It's always on the uh, Android version. I don't know what the iOS version is like. That might be better. I'm not sure. It might be worse. Who knows? Anyways, I'm just kind of babbling and rambling on at this point, aren't I? So yeah, if you're looking for a crew, guys, leave your information in there and all that good stuff. Or what I mean is if, you, if you're if you a crew, see, I'm trying to race this time and talk to you guys and it's a little bit distracting. Ooh, I got a new body kit. Ooh, okay. So if you're looking for new crew members, make sure you get your comment in the comments. <laughs> Put your comment in the comment section, guys. Make sure you leave all the good info that people need to know. If you're really just like, hey, join my crew, no one's really going to join you more than likely because you're not giving them anything to go by. They need the information, not just, hey, you join crew, right? You got to do more than say, you join crew. People are just going to be like, what? I don't know what that means. Well, of course, they'll know what it means, but you get the drift, right? People want to know the information. They want to know the facts. They don't want to know... You join crew. See what I'm saying? A lot of people won't even bother if that's all you say. So make sure you leave whatever people need to know to make your crew sound appealing. Let them know why they should join your crew. See what I mean there? Let them know why you should join why they should join your crew. I know I just got a body kit for something. Don't know what it was though. I'm guessing it was probably this car here. Where's the body kit? No, not this one. Unless it was that. Let's see what the wing looks like on this one. Let's find out. Does this have a nice wing? All right. Now that wing wasn't on there a second ago. That one's got this that's kind of gross. I don't know if I, I I like this one, but I don't like how it's got that little wing and the big big wing at the same time. That kind of drives me nuts, honestly. I don't know if I like that. Ew, that front end, I don't like that. No. No thank you. Goodbye body kit. I will stick to I'll stick to this one. It looks much nicer. Anyways, guys, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. If you're out there trying to find a crew, I hope you find one. All right, lightning out. Hope you all have a great day. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification deal, and set those notifications to all so when I upload something, you don't miss anything good. All right, catch you guys later. Have a great day. See ya.